I know you see this in every freaking nursing hall, but hear me out. Stethoscope. So I was like, let me not get it. So I got it from a uniform store in Concord Mills, actually. But and when I tell you this bag has a bunch of pockets, I'm not joking. It has Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Zania. I go by Mia Ayana for my YouTube for short. But I know it's been a long time. If you've been rocking with me before, you know that it's really been a long time since I dropped a video. And I'm just happy to be back. I'm in a different space. I'm um, just in a whole nother level right now. I never told you guys that I, I actually applied for nursing school as soon as I got out of high school. And I got accepted into the um, Winston-Salem State University. And I also got into Forsyth Tech uh, Community College. And they have a ribbon program where it's like a combination between that school. I'll basically be graduating with my bachelor's degree from Winston-Salem State and my associate's degree of nursing at Forsyth Tech. So I got into the nursing program. So woo -woo. I'm honestly so excited. Nursing school is going to be a journey. And I'm just going to, my channel is going to change a little bit. It's going to be kind of more geared to nursing school, I guess, and my journey, I guess, just to inspire others. Today's video, I just want to get straight into it. I know I talked a little bit, but I just wanted to give y'all an update on everything. Uh, maybe later on, I'll do a different video for that, like a life update and whatnot. But today, today's video is just literally a nursing hall video. I got a bunch of stuff for nursing school and a lot of stuff that I don't really need, but I got some stuff. So I just want to share it with you guys and hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, please like and comment and subscribe. You guys subscribe and interact with me. Does it really help me? Does it really encourage me? And if you guys want to see certain videos um, as far as nursing or anything else, please let me know in the comments. And also for all the items that I showcase in this video will be down in the description box below on my Amazon storefront. And I have all the items there except for like a few things maybe, but I hopefully I'll try to link everything down below so you can purchase these items yourself if you want to. So I'm not really sure where I should start as far as the items, but I'm gonna start with the bag just to get those out the way. So for a book bag, cause you have to have a bag, I mean, you know, obviously if you wanna have like a separate clinical bag, it makes things easier. So you think you have all the clinical stuff, all your stuff separate and ready to go. Cause clinicals, you wanna have stuff prepared. You wanna have your uniform ready, you wanna have your bag ready full of stuff that you need, your lunchbox, you want your clipboards, you want your name tag, you really need your name tag or your ID or whatever. Um, so having a clinical bag, a separate bag from your book bag that you take to school every day is definitely essential, I think, in my opinion, because this makes sense. So you have to keep moving items from one bag to the other and then you forget stuff and then it's just a whole mess. So the bag that I got for school is this North Face Recon book bag. And when I first wore it, it was so uncomfortable. I'm gonna, to be honest, like it was very uncomfortable, but I'm starting to get used to this different type of padding. I never had a book bag that had so much padding. Like you can see on the back that it has like lots of cushioning. I don't think I can fit more than like three, maybe two, I don't even know. I don't think I could fit more than two textbooks in here, to be honest with you. I don't think, I hope I would never need more than two textbooks. Right here is the pocket for your laptop, tablet, whatever you wanna put in here. It has cushioning, that's the first pocket. It has like a holder right here, definitely secure. Second pocket, I have something in here, but it's not as spacious. And also it has great water bottle holders. It holds my, I don't even know which water bottle. I can show you guys. I think this is a 32 ounce. The great water bottle is, keeps everything cold and it has like a sip. Pop it open, it's a sip. You don't have to like, you know, do that. You can do that, but you can sip it and without laying it over. But, but this big old water bottle can fit in these pockets. So I feel like, it's a great, I'm glad I can hold a big water bottle like that. I think it even has more space to fit a bigger water bottle. But I know people who have like hydro flasks and stuff like that. The third pocket, I have a bunch of stuff in here, but um, it's a half pocket. It, it stops literally right here. It goes down a little bit. You can, it has a pocket right here. There's a zipper pocket right here, a couple pockets right here. It's a it's it's a good amount of pockets. I wish it was more spacious though. But yeah, I could put like little pens, my pencils, chargers, little tiny notebooks. But I think later on I'll for another video, I'll do what's in my nursing book bag and what's in my clinical bag. I'll do those videos later on. But yeah, um then there's another pocket under the North Face emblem right here that has a little it has a good amount of space. You can put a charger in your AirPods, some mask in there. There's also this mesh pocket. It's very stretchy. You can put, it goes deep too. It goes down, down here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but hopefully you can. 
but it goes down to there and it's a good amount of space it honestly has a good amount of space i hope this really lasts me throughout the next four years or even throughout my whole entire school career because i spent a hundred dollars on it and i hope it lasts i really do but that is the North Face Recon Books bag. I'll have it, the link down in the description below. Okay, next up is my clinical bag. Honestly, when I ordered, well, when I saw this on Amazon, I was like, okay, I have to get this. Cause I was watching other people's like nursing hall videos and I saw what clinical bags they had. And I was like, I don't like those, those look flimsy. And I saw a lot of like bad reviews and I was like, no, let me not, let me get something that is cute that will last and i found this um uh, they have a bunch of different designs oh my gosh this one i feel like this one goes with my uniform um because we have like caribbean blue for our um scrubs and stuff like that so i thought like this was so cute and it goes it has our stethoscope on there um it has a scrub it has um a heart on there and when I tell you this bag has a bunch of pockets, I'm not joking. It has a bunch of pockets. I feel like this is a great clinical bag. It has handles, pockets, six pockets basically on the outside. You definitely fit your water bottles in here. There's mesh pockets on both sides. Um, it has great amount of space. This, I think this one is the large. You can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's affordable. It's not crazy price. I think this was like $40. It's not bad honestly it has also has um a strap that you can carry over your shoulder um so that's also convenient as well i can fit my laptop in here it also has a laptop pocket let me mention that it has a laptop pocket in here pin pockets whole bunch of pockets there's pockets it's a pockets galore like literally this bag is full of pockets and i feel like it's a great clinical bag i also got a lunch box I got this lunchbox. It looks a little bent up, but I have my little bento uh, thingy in here. Um, but I got the um, I got this lunchbox off of Amazon. It's really cute. I think it should be able to fit in my clinical bag. Disclaimer: I just started like editing the video, and I apologize for me moving so fast. I think I had to be somewhere after this video, so please excuse me going through it fast. But I'm just trying to show y'all everything that I got. But please excuse me going so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys my planner that I got for school. I've been seeing a lot of people get like planners that have like, you can write out what you want for the day, like a checklist and stuff like that. And I feel like that, that's what I need. Like, so I got this from Target. I feel like this is like the cutest um, planner ever. I love, I don't know why I like these eight, like these different type of designs. I don't know why I like waves and stuff like that now, but it goes all the way to 2023. As you can see, I started using it. This is adorable. I just like how you can put out, list out what you want to do for that day, what your goals are, what your plans are, have a checklist, and stay organized. The next thing I guess we can talk about is my clipboard. No, calm down. Calm down. I know you see this in every freaking nursing hall, but hear me out. I feel like it will really be useful considering that we have to write down information make sure that we know our the ins and out about our clients and stuff like that so i feel like this is a perfect um thing just to have and plus that it fits, fits in our scrub pockets that's even better um it is the white coat clipboard it's definitely pricey but i think hopefully it's well worth it hopefully i can really put this to use but um it also has little information all on the side that you can just quickly look at um, it has temperature, weight, and stuff like that, all that type of information on there, and boom, it opens up. I think it was like 40 or more dollars or something like that. I'm not sure, but it'll be down in the description box below. But if you feel like you need something like this, I definitely would get it. Um, I just got it because I thought, like, I feel like I would use it, you know? I feel like I'll use it, but hopefully I do. And I might take the stickers off and put them on the inside. I had saw somebody do that. They took the um, the little like stickers right here, these little the information stickers, took them off and put them on the inside so no one else can see this, just you. And so it's not as distracting to anybody else or the client or whatnot. So I feel like that's a smart idea. I might do that um, before clinicals. I guess I will show you guys my stethoscope. I said the scope, but we definitely needed it. Um, I got the Litman Classic 3. I got this from a uniform store. I was going to order off of Amazon, but I feel like I was kind of iffy because I didn't know like if it was going to be a true Litman. I got black because, I don't know, I like neutral things. I don't like... I was thinking about getting a color, but I was like, no, let me just get a simple black stethoscope. Um, 
I didn't want to get anything cute or fancy because it's not really supposed to be cute, I guess. But I don't know. Like, I just got black because I'm simple. Like, my book bag's black. I, keep, I wanted to keep everything a similar color. Like, I also got this case for it where I could put, like, all... I can put my stethoscope in there. I can put my medical shears in there. I can put my pen lights. I got this case for my stethoscope. Um, you can put everything in here. It's very safe. It has a thick material, so it definitely keep your stethoscope safe. Um, it's a good protector. I feel like it's smart to have it in somewhere where it's not going to just be out getting scratched up and knocked around and lost. So this is perfect just to keep everything together. Um, inside, it has a great amount of space. As you can see, my stethoscope is right here. And I also got some medical shears from Amazon as well that would be down in the description box below. Um, I put, so you put that all in here. And I also got some pin lights. Um, these pin lights, we're definitely gonna need them. They're very bright, as you can see. They can all fit in here, which is great. So I can put it into my clinical bag when I go to clinicals. And it's all in one place and it's safe and secure. I got this watch, um, it's by Casio, Casio, whatever it's called, I'm not sure what it's called, but I got it from them Amazon. on Amazon. It was definitely affordable, um, just a little simple watch. I didn't know the watch face was this small, but it's not a big deal. You can just definitely um, get used to how small it is and you'll be able to read it. It has on here like the date of today, it also has military time. And I got black so it won't get dirty and also it's good. It has like this texture where if it does get wet, it's not going to affect the watch. That's great. Um, it was definitely affordable. I love this watch. It's actually really sleek, very professional looking. So I'm glad I got this. And I know a lot of people say you can just get a watch from Walmart, but you want to make sure that it has like the second hand on there and that you can actually read the watch. Um, and I'm glad it has military time on here as well. So I can make sure I'm on point. So, and we also needed safety goggles. So I got some safety goggles off of Amazon. These are really, really cute. I've seen a lot of people get like cute ones nowadays and not get like these ugly, you know, bulky safety goggles, but these are really cute. Um, I could put them on real quick. But yeah, they have a guard up here on the sides. Definitely cute, very comfortable. Um, I really like these. These are really sleek and it has a little dust bag for it. I love that. And it also came with like the cleaner so I can clean them off when they get dirty. And I will keep them in this case um, for clinical so they don't get broken or get smashed. I guess I'll get into the books now. I got a bunch of books. Um, definitely so a lot of books for school. The books that were required was this book, um, The Nursing Drug Handbook for 2022 by Saunders. I also got this um, book right here, The 2022 Lip Cop Pocket Drug Guide for Nurses. I got this so I can put this in my pocket during school and also I got it for the pharmacy. The next book I got, um, we have this Fundamentals Nursing 3rd Edition Active Learning for Collaborative Practice. Um, this book was definitely required for my school. I actually need to read some chapters today. And I also got Saunders Comprehensive Review for NCLEX RN Examination book, the ninth edition. This is the newest version. I, people say it's really good to look through this through your journey of nursing school. So I definitely will do that to get your textbooks for school. I would check Amazon first just to make sure they have, to see who has the cheapest prices. Usually Amazon has good prices and it came very fast. So, oh Lord, and please excuse my dad, he is singing. Happy birthday to his mother. Please excuse him. Um, but um, I'm like, what is that? So this is um, another book that we were required to get. Um, there is called the Nursing Diagnosis Handbook, um, the 12th edition. So I got this book. I got Dosage Calculation for Nursing Students. This book, I think, will be definitely useful. We already are starting to go through nursing calculations or dosage calculations, excuse me, now in our med lab. So I'm gonna definitely go over this. Hopefully this is, this is helpful. I think this should help a little bit. Just, um, it's not a long book, it's really, I think it gets to the point. I also got Mosby's Pharmacology Memory Flashcards. Um, I think this is definitely gonna be useful for me since I'm a pharmacy technician, but also for school, cause we're definitely gonna hit pharmacology at some point, probably not the first semester, but I know in further semesters along the road, but it doesn't hurt to prepare myself. Plus I'm gonna be taking the PTCD um, certification for pharmacy technicians so hopefully this will help me pass that but I think this is definitely useful for nursing students because we will hit pharmacology at some point and it's good to go ahead and have your brain ready and prepared for all the drugs that you would have to know and um, it has great pictures in here it's really compact it has a bunch of pictures a lot of information as far as um, nursing implications as well which is great 
Uh, we definitely need to have that process in our head. Um, it has great pictures. I love the cartoony like pictures and stuff in here, but I think this would definitely be useful just to have on hand. I got my first iPad. My mom got me an iPad Air. Um, of course, it's blue because that's my favorite color. I um, went ahead and got my iPad because I thought like maybe it'll be make things a little bit easier as far as taking notes. I've been taking notes on it um, the first week and it actually was so, it was really like quick. Like being paperless is crazy. Like it keeps the amount of, I don't really didn't even need to buy notebooks, but I did buy notebooks for this semester. But um, just going paperless is definitely a change, but I think it's definitely a great change. Um, you're able to do so much on this iPad. I hope y'all like my case. This case is on Amazon too. I love this, like this is so cute. It's a composition over like, what's that? It's my iPad, like yeah. I got a bunch of different supplies also for my iPad. Hopefully, I think I'll do that in a separate video so it doesn't take up too much time. But um, I'm able to do so much on my iPad as far as taking notes and downloading the PowerPoints that we're gonna go over in class and actually write on them while she's talking or the professor's talking. So that even makes it easier. I love that for me. I'll definitely be using my iPad throughout my nursing career. And hopefully in another video, I will show you guys um, all the stuff I got from my iPad and what makes it easier for me to take notes. I will definitely do that in a later video. I'm gonna go ahead and get into like the materials, like little items. So I got sticky notes. Um, also, I have these posted little flags. I can put them in my book. I will definitely need them for my textbook. I think they, I got this off of Amazon, yes. And I got this from like this little pack of post-its from Target, so you can get these from Target or Walmart. I got this off of Amazon. They, um, it's 260 flags, so that's a good amount of stuff in here that you can use and put in your books and textbooks and notes and stuff like that. But um, what else? I also got a whiteboard. I got a whiteboard just to make sure that I can write out stuff and maybe like do my concept maps and make sure I understand. I think this would be a great way to study. It was cheap. I think it was like $14 um, at Walmart. I was able to get a bunch of little memo pads and they were only like 50 cents. So I got a bunch of them. Uh, I definitely would need these so I could throw these in my scrap pocket, write down stuff if I need to. Also, I was able to get a couple of these little notebooks that I can write stuff in. And of course, I had to get me a bunch of lit pencils. Even though I'm gonna be kind of paperless now, I guess the pencils were kind of pointless, but I still will be using pencils because I love mechanical pencils. But I got a bunch of paper made lead pencils. These are my favorite lead pencils of all time. If you know me, you know. Also got these pens and Sharpies. I got these and I also got a pack of highlighters. If I can find it, I don't know where it is, but I, these are all, these will all go onto my badge reel. And here are the mini highlighters that I got as well. They all have little loops on top that I can put them on my key ring. Well, not my key ring, but my badge reel if I need to. Or if I, even if I can just throw it in my pocket, like they're small. Hopefully I don't lose them because they're really cute. Speaking of badge reels, um, I got a bunch. And I have some bad news. Like I can't even use these for my school. Like they won't let us use little cute little fancy badge reels. They said we have to just get like a black or clear one. Um, I got this six pack. It came with a bunch of cute ones. A little band-aid, a needle, like two hearts, which at least want to have a stethoscope on it. And another little heart. Like they're so cute and I can't use them. I, uh, I think I showed them wrong. I think they were wrong ones. I'm using the other badge reel for the pharmacy actually. Ooh, it has little. I don't know what's going on. But I have this one for the pharmacy. It just sucks I can't use them for nursing school, but they do retract and stuff like that. So that's really good. Also got a bunch of index cards just in case if I want to do flashcards this year. The one thing about my iPad that I can use flashcards on my iPad and Quizlet. So I, we'll see if I use flashcards this year. But I know for my biology class, I had a whole bunch of flashcards just laying around. So I may or may not use these or just use my um, iPad for studying with flashcards. But definitely get you some flashcards if you're a flashcard person. A bunch of highlighters because you need them for your books. Highlighters are definitely useful to highlight stuff that are important to you and what you need for school. I feel like I'm missing stuff, but I got these. <laughs> I got some sloggers. These are gonna be used for clinicals. These are gardening shoes, I guess you could say. 
that's what the description says but i'm gonna try to use them for clinicals easy to clean um they're comfortable but the only downside about these ones honestly i could say is that they heal like i feel like I, when i walk or run i feel like my ankle might slip up but they don't but they it feels like it if that makes sense like, they were only like 30 dollars, so i just want to get something cheap for now i don't want to spend too much on a shoe especially if there's gonna be bodily fluids it didn't make sense to me to get like an expensive you know clinical shoe if they're going to be getting dirty but since we're talking about shoes um i also got some compression socks they everybody recommends to get some compression socks so i got some for school and for clinicals basically i'm gonna wear them for i might wear it well i'm definitely gonna wear them for clinicals and also in the pharmacy so i got these um they came in a pack of three they had white ones gray ones and black ones in there i don't have my other ones because i actually use them they're dirty so i didn't want to show those i got them in black gray and white but yeah, I got some five star notebooks. They're one subject. I got these, I got like two of them cause I'm not sure. Like I feel like I'm gonna be really more paperless, but if you're not paperless, definitely get you some good notebooks, good quality notebooks. I also got uh, a binder for school as well, just in case I may need it for like different paperwork I have. So I got me, uh, I think it's like a half inch, one and a half inch I think for this, I got that. And I also got some, I also got some, sheet protectors like different this little sheet protectors i put these up from harris teeter you can definitely find you some little sheet protectors um ooh, it's definitely upside down but um <laughs> these little things i can put them in my binder and put important papers inside of there so that's going to be definitely useful um, i also got like little um little tabs for the binder as well just in case they were no might need it i got a pack i got two packs i don't know where the other one is i swear i don't know where it is but i got a pack of these big pins these are my favorite pins i don't know if, if anybody else like ball pins but these are the best pins i can highly recommend these pins i got these from walmart but you can definitely get some off of amazon you see it's open already i already had a bus them open to use them so don't mind that honestly i think that is it but yeah i think hmm, i think that's it but actually i'm gonna just show you guys this just in case you're um in cna school and you needed a stethoscope i mean a blood pressure cuff a spig manometer a spig manometer <laughs> I think I'm saying it wrong, but it's by Pyramid. Um, it's definitely good quality. It got it's definitely like a basic um uh spig on my monometer um blood pressure cup <laughs> and it came with, with with a bag and everything. Um it definitely worked. I used it during um CNA school. I'm not sure if we'll be we're gonna be using this for clinical. I doubt it. We might need it for school one day, but but other than that, I think that's all the supplies I got for this haul and for nursing school. So if you're going into nursing school or thinking about nursing school or applied to nursing school, good luck. I mean I hope that you guys love and enjoy my journey that i'll be sharing with you guys and i hopefully the, all the stuff that i got will give you an idea of what you may need and may want to buy for nursing school you definitely don't need all the items that i bought but you might need some of them i kind of hopefully i highlighted the ones that you right really need like some of them you don't really need like but you some of them you will need if that makes sense like i know a lot of different programs require different things for school so i would definitely go based off of what your program requires you to get on your own yeah those are all the items that i got for nursing school this year and well this semester thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video one love